Hugh Jackson is accused of not, I don't know, cooperating or complying with the investigation by the NFL into his correct accusation that he was incentivized. And I explained the reason why, you know, obviously he was incentivized is the team wanted draft picks, which is so stupid thinking that draft picks, you know, are going to cause them to get better players and all that stuff. How cool is this? So I got my scooter in the background. What's up? This is the sofa couch thing. You know, I heard this, today's uh, the 4th, I heard it on the 2nd of May, 2022, oh, by a local dude, black dude. Oh, I mean, I can say local because, <laughs> I know, this is Browns Nation, what's up? I'm in Daytona Beach right now. I've been here for a minute, so. What what sort of what sort of comply with what, what oh here see the, the white man looks at it like this here's the paper trail here's the the tracker I was given I'm thinking about the movie you know with um, Shaquille O'Neal and Anthony Hardaway and that one white dude I think it's called I'll think of it blue blue chips yeah that's what it's called they want to see the 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 the, the check for. You know, $100,000, good job, you lost this game. They got attorneys going in on this. That's how the white man thinks. You know, let's get the paper trail. The paper trail is there, okay? Oh, come on. I mean, even Hugh Jackson's like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> WTF. I mean, hello, the team was... Something was just doesn't make sense. 1-31. and 31. It's a crazy idea that, I guess, getting more draft picks higher up. I mean, you know, you, you've seen that, you know... I mean, Steph Curry wasn't even... Michael Jordan was picked third overall. Huh. Okay, LeBron, yeah. Carmel didn't... Ryan Leaf didn't do anything. But anyway, I mean, what the hell... I mean, evidence do you need in this investigation to prove the simple fact that we see what we see? I mean, the team... I'm not saying, okay, great, you're 0 and 8. What are you going to do? You're going to go bring in, you know, an extreme veteran who's 34 years old and, and, and try to <laughs> turn something around to win one game, okay? But it just, hey, who better to put under the bus than a black man? Obviously, they want to make them look bad, and they're easier to uh, manipulate according to what's been going on in the NFL for all these years. So, hey, go ahead and... Put the black man under the bus. It's all the black man's fault. Because he just wasn't a good coach. He's a damn good coach. He has a great career. I mean, obviously, he's with Grambling State now. What's up? And he did great with Cincinnati. I mean, this is, you know. What evidence do you need, y'all? I mean, it's already what additional, you know. It's right there. 